Hello and welcome from the woods. That's such a great combination. Blast through the woods here. Get out the 5 inch Era from its FPV. I've been testing for almost a month now. I kind of feel bad for being so slow with the review, but they didn't put any pressure on me. They just sent me the frame. I bought the motors and everything myself. Excited to play this. Let's head up to the next spot, which is not the castle over there. Maybe, maybe the bridge. Let's see. Okay, that's it from this location. It was super cool, but I'm way too much of a chicken to really do like crazy stunts through those holes because I built this copter myself and that's what's keeping me back a bit from really risking it all the way. I know and I'm quite confident now that it will hold quite a lot of abuse. I have enough props with me, but still I didn't crash today, which is a bad sign. I didn't risk it enough. Maybe tomorrow. One thing though, Blue J firmware on the SpeedyB ESC, on the V4, whatever it's in the description, of this SpeedyB stack, it flew definitely better. Of course, I will link the setup that I ended up with. The one thing that I really, really loved about the frame, besides its durability and all the features, is uh, how much thought they put into this thing and that they have a really, really nice to follow and easy to follow build video, which gave me a lot of tips and prevented me from doing stupid shit during the build. So that's a big bonus. Check back to the hangar now. So with this little cross section, you can actually decide if it's a squished or a true X frame. That's a clever design. Since they have such a great guide on how to assemble this frame, 
I will only highlight a few things that I like. For example, this sandwiched part in the middle that will squish out this rubber thingy to make extra bond to the arms. So now I'm quite confident that this is the stiffest frame. It's really a joy to complete this frame with these clever design steps that they have. It's really easy to follow this step by step and don't make stupid beginner mistakes. Yeah, maybe you're not a beginner if you're buying this frame, but I was never too good at building copters. That's why I have so many RTF copters. This makes it easy even for guys like me. This nylon part in the front protects your camera so well and it gives the whole front so much strength and stability. It's a clever design. You can mount your HD cam on top with just a single screw. They tested a lot of different materials and nylon mixtures. They have their own story. Go, go check it out. I will link it below. Small tip that I found watching their build video. They have the power plug soldered on facing sideways to save space with shorter cable. That's very clever. Soldered on the capacitor with a quite long cable running underneath this all. So I can hide the capacitor in the front. Oh, this is gonna be tight. The capacitor sits now right behind the camera, like a little astromech on an X-wing. <laughs> I don't know why I said it. Now I solder on the motors and the solder job that I don't like too much is finished soon. And about soldering, I needed so long until I realized it doesn't have to be a TBS solder, but it has this solder with the right mixture. A good flux solder helps you accomplish nice solder points and the solder pads spend this cash and don't use cheap solder admittedly my standards are not too high when it comes to building drones but i think this is the cleanest build i ever had so it was just one afternoon really nice this is where i cramped in the crossfire but it came together beautifully and closed the frame Oh, this little, this little fuck as fast. Right. Oh, there's power lines here. Yeah? That's really amazing. Oh, no. oh. oh this kid. <laughs> so the first flights were promising enough that I removed the old Vista and want to put in the O3 so I don't have to use an additional camera. DJI Action 2 works nice up there. It's limited in terms of battery time and it's additional weight. If I can use the O3 down there, why not? One downside though, you see the props in view. So I used clear props, but it's still a bit in view. 
if you're bothered by this, you still need to use a dedicated action cam on top. By the way, that's the position of the capacitor with the flexible cable. Really hope that this holds up. Let's just put this together and fly it again with the O3.
which is extremely nice to have if you're alone on a bando where you don't know if somebody comes around the corner he will notice it and defend me with his life Sure you heard this <laughs> oh we are out soon and I can take a look Is somebody here at least nobody at the flight field question is do I find back if I enter there oh it's a lot of dust it's easier to fly in the winter when there's not so much foliage oh this will not Work out. Come on. I need to chop some, <laughs> some trees and twigs. Amazing. And now I will fly back to me by just listening where the drone gets louder. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, fun back. Amazing. I must have missed this broad way here. Now I'm at the skater park. Am I? Yeah. Ah, now I can jump. Whee. Oh, they built another jump here. Nice. Even a wooden one. Ooh, that's tight. It's so funny if you hear the twigs being cut. Yay! I see the fat, that wood. And I think I had enough of this wood. 